If you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant, you should know that folic acid is something that you should be taking during this phase of your life. Most people will tell you that you should be taking it as soon as you find out that you're pregnant, but even that might not be soon enough. In cases of those who are still trying to get pregnant, you should be supplementing folic acid now because most folic acid related birth defects happen during the first three to four weeks of pregnancy when most people don't even know they're pregnant yet. There are so many things about folic acid that people talk about. At the end of the day, however, you are the one that should know the value so you can appreciate it better. Best of all, you need to know if you're getting the right amounts and you should also know what the risks are if you're not taking enough of this powerful vitamin. All that and more coming up next. Here are some of the things that you should know about folic acid and how it can help you. Number one, it's known as a type of B vitamin that promotes cell generation. If you take it at the onset of pregnancy, it is said to help your baby's growth, especially in terms of brain and nervous system development. The proper amount of folic acid is one of the key factors that help to ensure the baby's brain and spine have the opportunity to develop well and to their full potential. Number two, folic acid is the synthetic form of folate. This means that it is the more common form and is present in many fortified foods and drinks, especially those that are meant for pregnant women. This is also one of the very first things that your healthcare provider will prescribe you as soon as you find out that you're pregnant. This generally means that folic acid is readily available all over the world wherever health-related products are sold, making it an easy must-have for women who are pregnant and those who are trying to get pregnant. Number three, folic acid is also helpful in improving blood circulation in pregnant women. You will certainly feel the difference when you start taking the prescribed 400 to 800 micrograms during pregnancy when you start doing so. You will find that you feel stronger and more active. It is also recommended for all women of childbearing age to take at least 400 micrograms of this powerful supplement every day just in case you become pregnant. Folic acid has many benefits for pregnant women and women trying to get pregnant alike. But like anything, there are risks and it is important that you know how to take the supplement safely. So let's get into the pro tips. Pro tip number one. Of course, if you've had an allergic reaction to folic acid in the past, you shouldn't take the supplement, even if that allergy was a long time ago. Pro tip number two. There are a few conditions that may need a dose adjustment or special tests in order to safely use folic acid. So it's very important that if you have any of the following conditions that you let your healthcare provider know before you start the supplement. Those conditions are kidney disease, or if you're on dialysis, any form of anemia, an infection, or if you're an alcoholic. Pro tip number three, usually adult dose for folic acid deficiency and supplementation is 400 to 800 micrograms once a day. And this usually shows little to no negative side effects in most patients. However, your healthcare provider may find it necessary to put you on a higher dose for larger deficiencies, and it is extremely important to follow their instructions while taking these higher doses to prevent side effects. The most serious side effect is an allergy, like we talked about earlier. But the other possible side effects are flushing, nausea, loss of appetite, bloating, gas, bitter, unpleasant taste in the mouth, sleep problems, depression, or feeling excited or irritable. Most people don't experience side effects, but if you do, let your healthcare provider know or let your pharmacist know, they'll be able to help you out. Folic acid is one of the most important vitamins that healthcare providers will prescribe, which you can take before you get pregnant or at the onset of pregnancy. The gains certainly outweigh any risk that you might think of for almost everybody. At the end of the day, it's your baby's development that should be the major priority for you. With all things considered, this in itself should give you the motivation to follow your doctor's instructions and take this powerful vitamin for you and your baby's development. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos each and every week to help all of us stay in the best health possible. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay curious, and as always, 
Have a beautiful day.